Hey guys, today we're going to do an origami finger puppet. So you will need some paper. Um, and then if you want to get that, like pause me, get that, and then you can kind of follow along step by step. Um, this can be a little bit confusing, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm going to switch so you can see the paper I'm using so we can follow along. So once again, if you need to grab paper, go get it now. Um, just pause me, whatever. Um, and then come back, follow along. Um, so hopefully it doesn't get too confusing. You'll need paper and scissors, okay? Paper and scissors. And then when we're finished, you can decorate it, um, but you can do that after. But to start with, you need paper and scissors. If you want scissors, we can rip the paper. Um, <clears throat> just try to be careful when you do that, okay? So let me share my screen, my document camera with you guys. All right, the very first thing um, when you're doing origami is you have to start with square paper. So the paper I have is not um, square, it is a rectangle. So the easiest way to get it square is to fold um, diagonally. So that way the top edge lines up with the side edge. So I'm gonna fold over until this edge is right against here. Now, I want this to be just one point. I'm gonna push that down. Hold it where it needs to be down here, and then kind of just push down, slide my hand and push down all the way across. Now this whole piece right here, we do not need. If you want to take a pencil and mark that line so you know where to cut, which is hard to see that line right now, that line, um, then you can't otherwise just grab your scissors, um, and you're going to cut along that line. Hold the folded part over itself um, when you go to cut and then just cut right along that line. It's okay if it's a little off. Um, let's see, and you can draw a line there if it's easier to cut on an actual line. We don't need this piece now. So now we have a square, okay? Now this is actually our first step. So the fold should be kind of up towards you. Um, you should have already folded it. So we have a diamond, the fold coming right down the middle so this side can come over to this side, okay? Your next step, as you want this open, is you're gonna take this top corner and you're gonna fold it so that corner comes down to the bottom corner. And actually, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit higher. So this top corner is coming down to this bottom corner. Move it, fold it, okay? Now you're going to take the right corner and fold it so that corner touches the bottom corner and it's going against this fold that we had, okay? So I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it down. See how that's working? This edge where the fold was is gonna go right where this fold is along here. It's going to fit in almost perfect, okay? Push it flat, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So we're gonna take here. It's gonna pretty much line up just against the edge of that other one. Push flat, fold. So now we have these two pieces and we're gonna fold these back up and out. So I'm gonna start with the one on um, the right side. You're gonna fold so there's a point here. So I'm gonna kind of put my nail here to help fold it and then I'm just gonna fold up. There's no specific spot it needs to be. Um, you want a little bit left here, but most of it's kind of being folded up. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You want it to line up, okay? So, I'm gonna try to make it about even, fold, okay. So 
So now this is what we have. The next step is you're going to um, pull. So you have two pieces down here, right? You're going to take this top one, okay, the top one, and you're going to fold it up so it's even with right here. Go up and over, fold it. Okay, so it's going right over those other papers. Now, you're going to flip this over and set it down, okay? So now we're gonna work on this side. You're going to take the side corner and you're going to fold it up and in just a little bit. Here and again on this side. Same thing, just fold that corner up and over, okay? Now you're going to kind of hold those in place and you're going to take this bottom part and you're gonna flip it up so it lines up here now. Kinda like the other side, but not exactly. You're going to take <clears throat> these top corners and you're gonna fold them all over down. Okay, so I took all these top corners and I just fold them down. It looks kind of thick so you gotta push a little hard at that spot. Then we're going to go ahead and flip our paper over again and where your finger goes here is your um little origami puppet um it is kind of big you can fit most of your hand in it um and then from here you can decorate it the way you want you can make it like a cat a dog um these if you can kind of imagine so this is the face and these are so like the head and the ears you can fold these down if you want to change what it looks like. Um, I think I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to do a pig. So I'm going to go ahead and fold the ears down. I actually think I might just fold one ear down and I'm going to leave the other one up. And then I'm draw a pig. And actually my pig's going to be winking and it's going to have cute little eyelashes. I'm going to color in where I want dark for the eye. You can use whatever materials you want to color. If you want to color this whole thing a different color, um, that would be a great idea. And then let's see, a little piggy nose. Okay, so here is my little piggy. I think I'm going to add just kind of where the inside of the piggy ear is. Same on this side, even though it's folded over. Um, and I think I'm gonna add some color to it. Some colored pencil here. You can use, of course, whatever materials you want. Now be careful not to color too hard because it will rip through the paper, especially where the folds are. You can use construction paper for this, colored paper, so that way it already has color to it. A little bit of color here, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So here's my piggy, not super colored. Um, 
once again, little piggy origami. Um, the bottom should open up for you to be able to put fingers in. Um, and then there's your little origami finger puppet. Um, you can make a bunch of these. It really just usually is one piece of paper each. You can make them smaller. Um, so smaller squares, just make sure it's a perfect square. Um, if you make them smaller, then it would probably fit just perfectly on one finger. You can use construction paper if you want it already to be colored. Um, or pattern paper if you have some fancy paper at home. Whatever you want um, to kind of create. Um, just whatever you want to add. Um, once again, this is going to be the head. The ears, you can keep these straight. You can bend them both down. Um, if you want to maybe cut them as a curve um, to kind of change what that looks like too, go for it. Um, have fun and then share what you made with me on Art Sonia. And I'm going to do an updated video on Art Sonia um, with an iPad so you can kind of see better how that works. Um, so hopefully if you haven't started uploading artwork because you weren't sure how to do it, you can start doing that. All right. Thanks, guys.